Hey there, I recently got a question that really caught my attention. Someone asked me what it takes to start a twink right away. And you know what? I'm here to break it down for you and give you all the details. Now, when it comes to twink, there are three critical sections that you absolutely must have to start your journey. The first and foremost is sanitation. This means having all the necessary tools and equipment to keep your workspace sterile and tidy. Second essential section is all about the machines. When it comes to the two machines, there are a few things you need to have in your arsenal. First up are the power supplies. Later comes the grips. These are the handles that you hold on to while you're doing your artwork. Then there are the cartridges, which are essentially the disposable tubes that hold the needle. And the last section is all about the miscellaneous supplies. The things you don't always remember, but end up needing for a successful tattooing session. So, let's dive in. The first and most crucial thing to talk about is sterilization. This is absolutely essential when tattooing to prevent infections and any issues with bloodborne pathogens. So, make sure everything is properly sanitized before you start your tattooing session. To properly sterilize your equipment, you will need a couple of key chemicals. Medistel and Enzistel are some I use which are some high-level medical surface disinfectants. It's important to note that these chemicals are primarily used for sterilizing your equipment and not necessarily your tubes and other materials. So make sure you always have some high-level medical surface disinfectants. We want to make sure our clients live with a beautiful piece of art, not an infection. All right. Let's talk about gloves. Gloves are an absolutely must-have for any tattoo artist. Not only do they protect your precious hands, but they also protect your clients from any germs or nasties. I personally, I like to use the black gloves. The black gloves are great because they don't show all the blood, plasma and ink. But I change my gloves so often that it's not a big deal for me. So make sure you grab some gloves before your next tattooing session. Trust me, your hands and your clients will thank you. All right, next will be the clip cord covers. Now, clip cord covers are these long things that you use to cover up your clip cord. But why both with them? Well, for starters, they keep your clip cords clean and sterile. Trust me, nobody wants to see blood and plasma dripping all over their tattoo equipment. Now, let's talk about bottles. Now, when it comes to tattooing, having bottles is an absolute must-have. Some people prefer spray bottles, but I personally like to use a squeeze bottle. They are thus more convenient for me. You will also need to always wrap them before tattooing, so you can keep them clean and sterile without having to get blood and plasma all over your bottle. But we will talk more about it later. Alright, now let's talk about machines. It can be overwhelming when you're starting out and trying to figure out what you need for each machine. So, first things first, power supplies are essential. There are many types. The old school one where you plug your clip cord and foot pedal in, and the newer ones with a digital readout that lets you control the speed and voltage without a foot pedal. Also, you can still use one if you prefer. And the wireless power supplies, the latest in the market, which are the only one I personally use right now, and I definitely recommend for its convenience and control. Next up, is the clip cord, which powers the traditional machine. Or an RCA cord if you are using a rotary machine. But you won't need any cords if you go for a wireless power supply, so don't stress too much. Just make sure you have the right cords and power supply for this machine and you are good to go. Now let's talk about machines. There are so many different types out there, including traditional coil machines, rotary machines and pen style machines. Most of these pen style machines are on batteries, which is a pretty cool feature. I personally use rotary machines with wireless power supply. It's important to do your research and figure out which type of machine works best for you and your style. Don't be afraid to try different options and see what feels more comfortable and efficient for you. If you are using a regular rotary machine, like this Injecta and Blood Blood machine, you will need a grip that is compatible with your cartridges. For myself, I found an awesome grip from Dragonhawk, which has a wireless power supply inside of it, and it works awesome with my Blood Blood machine. And the other grip I use for my Injecta machine, it's a needle length adjustable grip from Cheyenne. They both have made my working experience much easier. There are also disposable grips that are sterile and prepackaged. The cart Cartridge slides into the grip and tightens down, but be aware that different machines may have different methods for tightening. If you are using cartridges, you will need to get a lot of them, as you will require them for different styles and sizes. There are many brands of cartridges available, so it's best to choose the one that works best for you. Make sure to get the sterilized ones that come with an expiration date on the package, and when you are done using them, dispose of them properly. I personally find the cartridges from Quadron works the best with my machines and my style of tattooing. Now let's talk about tattooing. I won't go into too much detail about tattooing, since there are so many different brands available in the market, you have to test and find the one that works best for you. Tattooing is a crucial element, as it is what you use to create the tattoo on the skin. There are various brands to choose from, such as Dynamic, 
Fusion and Intense. It's recommended to have a lining blacking and a grey wash in your kit, as well as coloring if you are doing color tattoos. If you are starting with black and grey, you can begin with this and expand later. Nonetheless, choosing the right thing is a significant aspect of tattooing. For me personally, I used to work with black sumi from Intense, which was a very nice thing, but they are not allowed in Europe anymore. So I had to change it, and I found that Kuro Sumi Grey was set works also very well for me. Okay, after discussing the necessary equipment for tattooing, now let's talk about the small items that are easily overlooked. The first one is transfer paper, which is required for making stencil. There are several ways to use transfer paper, including with a stencil machine or manually by tracing over a design with a pen. I prefer this particular brand of stencil paper and wouldn't recommend buying knockoff brands from Amazon because they may not work as well. Your stencil is a crucial part of the tattooing process and it's important to ensure it's applied perfectly and lasts throughout the entire tattoo. To transfer the stencil into the skin, I recommend using Electrum stencil products, specifically the green variant, which I find to be thicker and more effective. While there are other brands available, such as Stencil Stuff, it's best to try out a few options and see which one works best for you. However, I highly recommend giving Electrum stencil products a try. Now, it is crucial to use razors before applying the stencil product. The area where the tattoo is going to be should be shaved properly, and the shaved area should be larger than the size of the tattoo. This is important because hair around the tattoo may interfere with the final picture. Next, you will need a ton of paper towel. It's important to choose the right paper towel. Not all paper towels are the same. Some are too thin and will tear while you are tattooing. So make sure you get good quality paper towels that won't rip as this will make your job easier and help you create better tattoos. Next comes the ink cups. They are available in large bags and are inexpensive. They come in different sizes so it's crucial to select a size that your needle fit in. If you are using liners, you can use a small cup. But if you are using different sizes of mugs, you must ensure that the cup can fit the needle before starting your tattoo. Otherwise, the needle may hit the side of the cup while dipping and require the needle to be replaced. So, it's best to choose the right size ink cup beforehand. Next, you need Vaseline. You can use it to hold down your ink cups and to apply it on the stencil before tattooing. This will make the process cleaner and easier, as it will prevent the ink from smearing all over the skin. By using Vaseline, you can ensure that the ink doesn't spread too much and provides a smoother application. It's a must-have product, so make sure to keep some on hand to save yourself time and trouble during the tattoo. Using popsicle sticks, it's a hygienic way to pick the Vaseline from its cup to your workstation without touching it. Next come rinse cups, which are used to clean the needle whenever we are working with coloring, including black and grey shades. It's also important to use distilled water when filling up the rinse cups. Tap water and bottled water contain minerals that can compromise the quality of your ink. So, distilled water is the best option because it's been purified, although it's not sterile due to the bottling process. So, be sure to have rinse cups and distilled water available for your tattooing process. Now, let's come to fake skin. If you are just starting out, it's important to begin by practicing on fake skin. This can be purchased on a variety of places online, with Real Skin being the brand recommended by me as the best option. Fake skin provides the closest experience to actual human skin and can be used for practice before tattooing people. Once you are comfortable with your skills, you need to ensure that you follow the proper sterilization procedures like we talked about at the beginning of this video. So, this is the list of everything you need to start tattooing today. If you would like a quick summary, I have provided a breakdown of the items below for your convenience. I hope this list helps you acquire all the necessary equipment to start tattooing and please let me know if you have any additional questions. If this video was helpful and you would like to see more of my content, please don't forget to like and subscribe. This will help me and my channel grow and the algorithm will recommend it to more people who may find it helpful. Thank you for watching and see you next time.